Hello, welcome back with a quick Black Friday slash Cyber Monday roundup. It was kind of a quiet weekend, at least compared to other people's for me in terms of pickups. But we still found some cool stuff, so I stopped the novelization for the new Halloween, which I decided to pick up thanks to Bloody Disgusting's article that made it sound awesome. So what's nice about novelizations is that you sometimes get like, more stuff that wasn't in the movie. Uh, apparently from, because a lot of these are built, are written based off of, like, first draft screenplays, and so when scenes get cut, you know, they're still in the book, or the author can, like, internal monologue for a character, so I'm pretty happy with that, and looking forward to it when I've got more time. There were exactly, there, there were exactly three titles from all of the places I went to that had regular Black Friday sales that I was even interested in, which was kind of, uh, surprising. <laughs> uh, first off, this weird monster trucks movie, which, you know, I don't know, like, I'm, I'm kind of a sucker for sentimentality, and I, I thought it looked kind of fun. And I'd wanted to see it for a while, and it was, I think, like, four or five bucks, which was pretty good for that. Uh, there was The Witch, which I still haven't seen, but everybody says it's great. So as soon as it was like, this was from Best Buy, and I think it was like four dollars with the slip cover, so it's like, sure, why not? So plus I think there was actually, there's actually decent extras on here, right? Yeah, there's a commentary. Uh, this is a sort of a double dip. So American Psycho on 4K, according to the back of this, it sounds like there's some new content on here from the old Lionsgate Blu-ray, but uh, I'm not gonna crack it open until I check for sure. Because uh, if it ends up just being the same movie, you know, I might, I might just end up returning it. Even though it was pretty cheap, you know, I'm kind of sentimental to my old stuff. Uh, plus, looking at the back, I'm kind of wondering if maybe some features that were on the Blu-ray aren't on this. And now for the fun part. So a lot of places had big sales on like their used movies. And I came out pretty far ahead, so I still have the price tags on these, but they were all they were all half off, so yeah. So Dead Time Stories was what like eight nine, well, whatever it was, it was a pretty good deal. Uh, so this is another sharp release, and I I found the sound the vinyl album for this. Oh, back in, like, March or something. And it's like, you know, I've never seen this movie, but I bought the vinyl anyway. Uh, I ended up really liking... I watched the movie before listening to it, and it's like, wow, this is awesome. How have I never heard of this before? And so I figured the next time I ran into it in town, I'd pick it up. And, haha, success! And this is one of Shout's old two-packs. Like, this was, like, six uh, after the sale. I kind of didn't really enjoy Food of the Gods the first time I saw it, but it was a lot better, like, revisiting it now. So, plus it actually had, like, a couple of extras on it, but the big thing I care about is frogs. So, this is one of my favorite movies, like, ever, because I study reptiles and amphibians, and I even wrote a paper on this that got published. It was awesome. So, I, I love frogs so much. I just wish it had been, like, a full tilt collector. I wish they'd been able to do, like, a full tilt collector release of frogs, like they were for, like, everything else. Because uh, all this comes with really is there's like a little gal there's like a little gallery of like some of the posters there's an interview with Joan Van Ark and there's like a trailer and a radio spot. Although I personally think that they're the reason for that is you know, maybe they just couldn't find all that much info on frogs. Because I mean it's it's pretty old and I would have assumed a lot of the people are like either dead or retired. That sounds grim. So. I've never seen either of these, but this was one of Shout's more sought-after, like, early two-packs, from what I was told. So, plus, I mean, it was $5. You can't... I will get $5 of entertainment out of this. <laughs> no problem. Like, I've, I've heard Terrorvision talked about, but I don't really know anything about the video dead, so that's gonna be... that's gonna be an exciting experience. And now, this was pretty exciting too, so it's the Shout 2 pack of Tales from the Crypt and Vault of Horror. Which, from what I recall, was 
fairly expensive and out of print, but I think I might be mistaken uh, because it was so cheap. Although that could be due to, like, it's in fairly good shape except for somebody kind of like smashed the case a little bit. I don't know if you can see, but uh, that might be why some of these were kind of so low initially. But, I mean, either way, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, and then we have something weird from GameStop. So GameStop has started doing, like, these collectibles. Kind of full force. I mean, I've seen Freddy gloves. Like, they started getting NECA stuff. Like, the Jason and Freddy Ultimate figures. Like, they had a GameStop exclusive Pennywise. There's been a lot of horror stuff happening at GameStop. And I found this weird pervy statue of Ash. It's like one of those Japanese like gender bending things. So the glare ruins it. And uh, I was looking at it like, what is this? And then out of curiosity, like I looked up on eBay and uh, turns out it, this was a lot cheaper where I got it. So it was like, okay, fine. I'll, I'll see what I think of it. And while I initially had my reservations, uh, a lot of people were, like, really into it. Uh, it was kind of surprising. Cause, I mean, I, I thought, uh, well, I don't know. I was like, hey, guys, look what I got. And everybody was like, oh, wow. And they were girls. So it's like, huh, okay. It is actually pretty cool. I, I don't know what I'm trying to tell myself here. <laughs> And this last one wasn't horror, but it was cool enough anyway to show off. So I found the Batman like box set that's been kind of elusive for all these months. I kind of hate that it comes with pots, just because it's like, you know, it's just what I need. More stuff lying around, but I think I can just leave them in the box. So my only gripe is, like, I got this for, I think it was like 90 which is still better than a lot of the places online. Uh, but I noticed, like, it's kind of like, whomp. Like, see, it's got some damage to the box. Which is uh, upsetting, to say the least. But, you know, it was kind of an impulse thing. And, well, the set's been hard to find, like, at a somewhat reasonable price. So I think Amazon had it on sale for, like, 100 But, you know, who's to say that during shipping, Amazon won't do this, too? You know? So, there seems to be a lot of stuff in here, which is pretty, pretty nice. Uh, it sucks there's only, there's only commentaries on 12 episodes, though, which, when you have a series that's, like, as huge as this one, I mean, this is 109 episodes. Do a commentary on more, I mean, come on, guys. Ah. I'm guessing they just poured it over from, like, the previous set, too, because I have, uh, a long time ago, before I was collecting physical media, I was collecting digital media, and I'm pretty sure I have the audio files of the commentaries that are on this. So it's like, wait, haven't I heard all these? But uh, I was intrigued by all the other extras that they promised in this. So, because I like featurettes if they're interesting, so we'll see. So, uh, moderately tame in terms of collectibles and movies. I don't think... Oh! Haha, <laughs> I'm dumb. <laughs> I forgot I bought, like, one vinyl. So it's the Stranger Things. Apparently they have a Black Friday release schedule, kind of like Record Store Day. And this was more or less the only exciting thing I found. So I think it's just music from Season 2, but it's on a really cool picture disc. And it was relatively inexpensive. It was like 20 inch normal. So, uh, but so much stuff, I forget what I did. So, I, I also got like a Pokeball Plus and like a bunch of stuff for a Nintendo Switch. And a Nintendo Switch. But that doesn't really count, so. Haha! <laughs> well, hope you had fun. Like, share, and subscribe.